smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to another video on this channel. Today, another video for you guys, and it's gonna be working on my beautiful E90. So today, guys. I'm finally gonna try to get my paddle shifters to work. So I don't know if you guys know, but my paddle shifters, I never actually got them to work. I did a video installing the wheel. I did another video actually installing the kit from Burger Tuning, but I never actually got the paddles to work. And that's because you still need to rewire the paddles themselves. I never got around doing it because I never actually had it, the solder, nor the solder, you know, the iron itself. And um, what else would I need? Um, some like, some electric wire or something like that. I don't know. So I'm, I'm really bad at these types of technical technical terms for electrical stuff. Anyways, so I ordered that stuff, it all came in. I'm gonna go ahead and try to attempt to do this. If it works, I'm gonna be the happiest man alive and if this video's up, most likely worked. So I'm doing that for this car. The good thing with the Z, you guys probably haven't seen it a lot on the channel because I had a CHP appointment. I finally got to it. Um, it like it was a month and a half on the wait list. Finally got to it today. They did the, um, the, the verification on it, the VIN verification. It passed the exhaust, he let it go. He's like, yeah, I have a modified exhaust, whatever, it's cool. I don't really care. I'm like, that's a pretty chill cop. Um, other than the fact that he left my hood open, I was driving my hood popping up a little bit and I noticed that, so I had to stop and you know close that. Anyways, so 350Z is so much closer to actually being sold. I know a lot of you guys are not happy about that, but I have a friend of mine that's gonna be buying the Z, and those of you guys you know like to see Z content, he's gonna be making his own YouTube channel once he buys my Z. Um, I'm selling it to him exactly breaking even. He knows how much money I bought it for, he knows how much money I put into it. I'm literally just breaking even to sell him the car, because I know um, he wants a nice car, and this is a very nice car, manual, 115,000 miles. You know, and it's a pretty solid car. It does need some, it has some issues, but like every other old car, and especially for the price he's getting it, you know, expect issues, you know? So that's the update on the Z. I'm gonna be selling that, end up paying off this bad boy, and then this bad boy is probably gonna get me my 335. So uh, long story short, guys, we're gonna finally start getting to the paddle shifters. Let's just get to it. And I might be uh, replacing the bulbs on the 350Z past headline brake. It's still gotta do headline brake. All right, guys, I'm also, I don't know if I told you guys, but I got a package in from ECS Tuning, and this bad boy is a strut bar. This strut bar retails for, I think, around $200. Very, very nice strut bar, um, mainly for performance and stuff. I reached out to them when this car was not involved in the accident. Um, you know, I, I wanted to like do, I wanted to go above and beyond. But ever since I got in the accident, and I was able to pay off my loan. My goal of getting a 335i was more obtainable. So I still think I'm gonna go for the 335i. I'm gonna be installing this bad boy on this car. You know, enjoy it. But probably when I get the 335i, I'm gonna transfer that mod over because you know it's probably gonna be more in use with the 335. But yeah, I got all the stuff I need on there. I got the all the wiring tools and everything. First thing we gotta do, of course, is disconnect the battery because you don't want your airbag to blow. Now the worst part about doing anything with your steering wheel is removing the airbag. I think that's like the hardest part. I think I finally got the hang of it, but not 100% sure yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this airbag out. So finally got the airbag out, just got a couple cables to disconnect right here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and remove the wheel. Shouldn't be too hard, guys, you just remove the same cables. If you guys wanna watch my part two, show you guys how to completely uninstall and reinstall the wheel, and there's that bolt right there in the middle, and that takes off the whole wheel. Um, this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually take out the paddles and uh, do the retrofit. Alrighty, guys, finally got that bolt out, everything's out, so we're gonna go ahead and pull out the steering wheel. It's a lot easier with two hands, but there you go, just like that, that's easy, just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the trim now, which is held by Couple of screws back here. I think there's like a couple of screws all around. You can see about down here. And uh, pretty much you just remove those three screws. That takes off the trim. Once you take off the trim, you can access the paddles. All right guys, and just like that, I got my two paddle shifters out. Um, so now I believe I have to remove this back plate with this held on by one screw, and then I'm gonna be able to see the, the two resistors that I need to remove. I'm gonna be putting up a diagram on the screen somewhere over here. You guys can look at the diagram, and uh, basically it's gonna show you guys how I need to re-weld this thing. And same applies to this side and how I have to rewire this. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove those screws and then look at the diagram for myself. All 
All right guys, for some reason I had a hard trouble figuring out how to disconnect this part from the paddle. This just comes straight out of the steering wheel, but this I couldn't understand. Like I have to rip it out and I was like, I don't want to damage it. But then I realized looking at this one, there's this pin held in by the side. You can see the pin straight in there. You push it out and then you grab some pliers, you pull it out the other side and the whole thing just comes right on out. So now that I have this, looking at the diagram right here, I need to take off both those resistors and put a wire connecting them both together and then rewiring this guy right here. So I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but um, if I can do this, you guys can do this because I've never done this before. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sit you guys down and see if, uh, you know, just how to take off those resistors. All right guys, I'm back with another sunburn because you know, I like to work in the sun and I'm taking this medication and I get sunburned. So this is really good. But in the plus side guys, so basically I just try to plug in, I just wanted to see. I plugged in the, the, the downshift and the downshift works. So I'm so, so excited, but I messed up the right, um, the, the, the upshift paddle. So let me show you guys. If you guys see in the upshift paddle, it's missing the, the black piece, as you, as you guys can see there. On uh, the downshift, the black piece is on there. Um, I accidentally snapped it off. I'm a dumbass, so don't, uh, don't, don't worry about that. Please don't comment about that. But um, I need to go figure out what this is. And then I, I pretty much I desoldered the, the, the resistors and I put them together, as the diagram said. Very straightforward and it works. I need to put a wire. I just pretty much put a uh, solder in between both uh, points. That worked. And now I just need this black piece. I'm gonna try to go down to AutoZone. Hopefully they have it. And if they have it, guys, I'm gonna be shifting today. Guys, 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 look at that. All right, so everything is all over the place. Uh, airbag, I do. I did just give myself the airbag light, but luckily the collie adapter can just clear that. But the reason why I did that is so I can just test fit everything. There's no bolts whatsoever put in. Um, I just want to test out the paddles. The paddles work 100%, guys. So obviously I'm not gonna BS you guys. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did. So for the, for the left paddle, there is a resistor in the middle and in the bottom. And then on the, the, the right paddle, the, the plus one, there's a resistor on the top and the middle. So left um, has the, the middle bottom and the right has the top middle. So basically you have to get rid of all resistors, pretty much just throw them away. And then uh, just connect the, 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 the last two points on each, both of them, just the last two on both of them, doesn't really matter. Um, and then like the diagram states, remove the top pin and put it to the second one on both of them. Um, I will show you guys the link down in the description. I did get this email to me from the guys at Burger Tuning um, because I couldn't find it, but they linked it to me and it helped out a lot. So I'm really, really, really happy that it's working. Obviously, I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging. I'm gonna show you guys that it works. I'm gonna actually show you guys where. So all I did so far was retrofit the paddles. These are DCT paddles. If you don't have DCT paddles, you're gonna have to purchase the, the actual buttons, which is unfortunate. That's why I went for the DCT paddles. Or if you get the ones that you push out and in, you're gonna have to retrofit it to where um, it's just downshift and upshift no matter what. So if you guys wanna do that retrofit regardless, this is the way to do it. Um, doesn't matter what kind of paddles you have, as long as you, you want to rewire them, or if you don't want to rewire them, you have to buy those specific buttons, and those buttons can go upwards of $180, so they're really ridiculous. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together. I'm not gonna show you guys any of that, and I'm gonna get back to you guys when it's all back assembled. All right, guys, I am dying, but I am so excited. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and remove this airbag light. I have the airbags lights going off saying passenger restraint system. I did turn on the car when the when the airbag was unplugged, so that's not good if you don't have a Carly adapter. But if you have a Carly adapter, any kind of you know OB2 scanner, you'd be able to clear the code very easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear the code, go ahead and set everything perfectly fine. So if any new codes come up, I will be aware of it. I'm gonna go ahead and clear everything right now, and I'll get back to you guys in a second. All right, guys, we are officially driving right now. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm gonna go ahead and downshift. So you can see M1, M2. I'm gonna continue driving. I really hope the camera is catching it. I don't know, because it's really right out top. You can see downshift. And then again, I'm on paddles, upshift, shift again. I'm on third gear, downshift, downshift. All right, guys, so I'm super excited about this. I'm gonna go ahead and go out for a fun drive. Um, probably get a bigger sunburn and then head home and start working on the 350Z I do have to replace a couple things on it to just get it to ready for headlight and brake But I'm gonna go ahead and go enjoy this because I've been wanting paddle shifters for the longest time I want to see how quick the response is. I know I can't make it as fast as a 335i tuned response where it's like super fast shifts um, But it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be good So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy it and uh, cut back to you guys uh, when I'm when I'm done enjoying it I got you on my mind. 
shot in him a line and she's tryna get up on me. I tell her like Habibti, that's too hot on my lie. Where they are? I was raised with some mileage. Everyone got a friend named Abdi. I'm from OT. Six one three.